Y'all sit here and y'all divide and conquer. Y'all sit here and y'all y'all attack each other in these mini class wars while we're still at the bottom. You being one inch above me, you're still 80 feet beneath white folks. I got this graph. I, I, I did this video a while back where they got one big foot stepping on another person and he's stepping on another person. He's stepping on another person. That's how we are. You, you, you stepping on brother Kush don't mean and you're still getting stepped on. You're still getting stepped on by somebody that's getting stepped on by somebody that's getting stepped on. The problem is that nobody should be getting stepped on because that is not the way of the righteous. We should pull out of this madness, man, not go deeper into it. That's what a real chosen one, a real child of God would seek to do. Get out. You know, one of the unique things about growing up as a black American is that all your life you hear Hebrew Israelites, Moors, Nation of Islam members, uh, even some pro-black that are Christians. All your life you hear them saying that black people are the true chosen of God, right? But here's the problem I have. I, I have a serious question because being something is more than just claiming it. There's also something in your Bible that says, as a man think it, so shall he be. Whatever you believe you are, you will act upon it. See, this is what moves me. This is, this is why I move the way I move. Because I honestly believe what I say. It don't matter if you think I'm wrong about any of the stuff I say, bro. It, it, it don't matter. I believe it. And it, it, it dictates how I move through the world. It dictates how I interact with people you move as you actually believe so i have a question a simple very simple question are black people really the chosen of god are we because we don't act like it either we are not really the chosen people of god that we are wrong about that that that's not us or we don't honestly believe it because either way we are not manifesting the attributes of the chosen of God. We are not manifesting the characteristics of the chosen of God. We sit here in America as black Americans, right? We are the only people that have no reason whatsoever to invest deeper and deeper into this system. Yet every passing generation, our so-called black leaders, our so-called black intellectuals, the ones that become your, your black professional managerial class that nearly full of junior called your black um your, your black elite your elite aspirants and your political entrepreneurs every passing generation these people convince us to invest deeper and deeper and deeper into a system that is just inherently wicked you, if you can't see that the way we live is evil then you are not a child of god if you could sit there and you could talk about money 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 you are not a child of god and how can you call yourself a child of God when you know that you are a slave to the people that you say are devils? What? You won't even stand up and rebel against the devil. Instead, you do all you can to ingratiate yourself to him. You do all you can to assimilate into his society. And then you look at brothers like me who have no interest in assimilating into their society or ingratiating myself to them. And you think that I am a coon. You think something is wrong with me. But the difference, man, is that I actually believe what I say. And that's, that, that is the fundamental difference between y'all and brothers like me. I don't look at white people and see something that I, that I want to be like. I, I, you know, I just don't. They are nothing to me, man. And I don't say that to be insulting to individual white human beings because that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about whiteness as a systemic creation you know what i'm saying as a form of of, of divide and conquer a, a, as a form of tribalism of class warfare i'm talking about all that systemic racism 
I don't look at them, man. I, I mean, they are nothing to me, man. And this is why I don't get caught up in anything they say in their books. I don't care what they write in their books. I don't care what they say is true. I don't trust these people. We, see, you and I have a fundamental difference when that whole COVID thing was going on. You know, one of the things I hated is every time someone would ask me about taking them shots, I would say, I, I don't do the shots. They called me a COVID denier. But this got nothing to do with COVID. I don't trust these people on nothing. It didn't have to be COVID. I just don't trust these people. I wouldn't take no shot of theirs that I don't really need to take to save my damn life. I wouldn't take it. I'm not letting you put nothing in my body because I just don't trust you. I don't trust them. First of all, they are not God. Newborn babies get all kinds of shots put up in them as if we can't survive on a planet that our creator made us to survive on without the help of the white man. That's evil, but y'all don't see it like that. Y'all don't see it like that. And you wonder why we got so many messed up children now, so many babies that are slow and autistic and all this stuff. We're pumping too much in their system as, new, as newborns. We are made to survive on this earth. We don't need the white man to give us shots so that we can survive on earth. That's bull crap. I don't care what excuses they give. I don't care what they say is out there. Whatever's out there is only out there because of the damage that they do to the environment. They are the problem, but yet we don't address them as being the problem because we don't honestly see them as the problem. We sit online and we argue with each other all day. We sit online and we find somewhere to blame Pookie and Ray Ray for something that they ain't got no power over. We sit online and we, we want to become Trumpites as if Trump really give a damn about y'all. Or we want to go over there and, and, and hang on racist Biden's every words. Come on, man, what's wrong with y'all? That's because y'all don't believe what y'all say. Because if you believe that you were a child of God, we will start breaking this system to the benefit of all humanity. Because if we are chosen people of God, then we, we gotta stand up first. If we are really the chosen, then we have to stand up and the rest of the world will follow us as they did with the protests around George Floyd. We see examples that we are actually the chosen of God. That's the answer. Yes, we are the chosen of God. We got nothing but proof of it. All the evidence in the world is it's there if you look. Who is the most influential people? There's only one demographic of people on the planet that the whole planet wants to be like. In one way, either hate us because they... Look, they either want to be like us or they hate us because they can't be like us. And that's black Americans. That's black Americans. There is something definitely special about black Americans. But if we don't stand up and take the lead, who's going to do it? If y'all really believe that y'all were who y'all claimed y'all are, you would change. And that's the, let me talk back about this children of God thing because I'm not talking spookism or religion. Being a man of God means you are righteous in your actions. We'll get all high and mighty and moralistic on the things that don't matter while we watch this man destroy the earth, turning our earth into Mars. We don't say nothing about that. We got less than maybe 10,000, 20,000 people that's in control of the entire planet. And we don't say nothing about that. We think that's okay that they are able to dictate to the whole planet how we should live, where we can go and can't go. We don't have a problem with the way we live, but we think that we are righteous because we don't want to have sex. Man, y'all messed up, bro. Y'all messed up, man. Y'all messed up. First of all, we are the chosen. There is something special about black Americans. But y'all don't believe it. Because if you believed it, you would change. You would change. If you believe that you are a child of God, I challenge y'all right now to start moving differently. Start acting like it. Drop all this spookism. Look, to be a child of God, you don't need religion. That's a status, bro. That's a birthright. In fact, that status existed before there were religions. So you don't need no religion. That came later. Tap into your innate status. Start dealing with stuff based on what's right and what's wrong? 
and start figuring out how can we live outside of this system, man, because this system is wrong. I don't see how y'all could live in this stuff and, 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 and advocate on behalf of it. Oh, man, you got to go out there and get a job, man. You got to you know, this make a real man work. But says who? Says who? This is why we in this mess, man. Because the truth is, the brothers that say stuff like that, they don't care about working. They want to, they say that stuff because they think that that makes them, uh, uh, they think that makes them more sellable to women. That's all that is. That's them pitching to women. That's them trying to advertise themselves to women. Because if they believed that they didn't have to do slave until they did to get a nice looking woman, they wouldn't want to do it. And instead of just saying that, well, brother Kush, you right. I don't want to work like that till I'm damn near dead. I want a life. I want to enjoy my life while I live. So what can I do to change? And I can still have a woman. You know what I'm saying? What can I do? Instead of y'all having that conversation, no. Y'all sit here and y'all divide and conquer. Y'all sit here and y'all y'all attack each other in these mini class wars while we're still at the bottom. You being one inch above me, you're still 80 feet beneath white folks. I got this graph. I, I, I did this video a while back where they got one big foot stepping on another person and he's stepping on another person. He's stepping on another person. That's how we are. You, you, you stepping on brother Kush don't mean and you're still getting stepped on. You're still getting stepped on by somebody that's getting stepped on by somebody that's getting stepped on. The problem is that nobody should be getting stepped on because that is not the way of the righteous. We should pull out of this madness, man, not go deeper into it. We should get out. That's what a real chosen one, a real child of God would seek to do. Get out. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Elf. Salam.